Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Aiming, game sense, and patience. Those are the three topics I will tackle in this video. And for a reminder, this video is for those who actually want to improve in Krikalops. Oh, he needs some milk! Don't try to get some free tips to get you better at the game instantly. It really doesn't work like that. So, aiming. You know the thing that gives you kills? So, how do you improve it? Denied! <laughs> Two most important things in aiming is recoil control and crosshair placement. To put it simply, recoil is the thing that makes your gun go up in the sky. And recoil control means that you're controlling this upward momentum. When the gun's recoil goes upright, you go down left, like so. One important thing to know is that every single gun in Critical Ops has a unique recoil pattern. The best way you can learn and practice your recoil control is by going to TDM or just going to practice mode and shooting some bots. And if you want to practice even more and get even better aim, then make sure that your aim assist is on the zero. Usually when people talk about crosshair placement, they really don't mean it so in a good way. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear! Then, let's just fix this problem. As you know, the fastest way you can get kills is by shooting headshots. So, the best ideal crosshair placement is on the head level. But, it isn't always optimal to have head level crosshair placement because of people crouching and moving and stuff like that. The best crochet placement, in my opinion, is around the neck and upper body area. But if you're confident with your aim and crochet placement, then just aim to the head level. If you want to practice your crochet placement, then the bots are the easy way. You can, of course, practice your aim with it, but it isn't so realistic when Normal players in ranked or defuse move around a lot more than those bots. Either way, by playing a lot, your aim will get better. Game sense and patience. Yep, that is game sense. But what even is game sense? Game sense includes a lot of different things like using utility to your advantage, knowing good positions, when to push and when to hold. To put it simply, knowing how to react in different kind of situations. Usual mistakes people make in critical ops are impatience, utility dump, and playing always for the 100 odds. So, how can you learn? First of all, play ranked, and when you die, stop raging and being toxic to the teammates, it really doesn't help you at all. When you die, 
Really think about it, why did you die? Were you baited or did you have bad bush? Were you flashed or did you react to the flash too late? Etc. Patience Be aware of the fact that you will not be a pro in a day. Learning takes time and it might take even weeks or months but you will see the results. Stop raging and being toxic. It really doesn't help anyone and makes the games even worse for you and the teammates. Mistakes happen to everyone and remember that it is only part of the learning process. Stop raging and start learning.